Hello everybody, my name is Grim Reaper 2458 uh, Sorry if you can't really hear me well. I'm going to try and work on getting a more hearable mask for you guys because this is closed on the bottom and it makes it really hard to record. So there's going to be lots of takes of me taking breaths because it's very hard to breathe out of this thing. I would record it without my face, but you're going to have to wait a little longer. Speaking of that, um, if you look on the channel now, as of recording this, I have 98 subscribers, or actually 94, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just insane. Thank you guys so much for your continuous support. I really do appreciate it. You guys have changed my life, so I'm going to keep making videos until it just keeps getting bigger, I guess. So, a little thing that I've been working on for a while is this Moto Fury with a little different thing on there. Uh, more about this blaster when it's done. As you can see right here, I got a Max Striker for Christmas. I'm hoping to do a lot with that. As you can see, there's some bit changes to it from its stock. So let's get to why you're here, really. So this month for thrifting has been very interesting. Uh, thrift stores have actually had a lot. I went the first week of December, and they had not a lot. They had a lot of stuff that I've seen previously. And I've gone there and just not picked anything up because it's all just been the same. Today I went and there was a lot of different things. So the things I did grab were... A Magnum Super Drum. I've never seen or owned a Magnum Super Drum. And it costed me only three bucks. And it's in pretty good working shape. It has, has that weird stock on it. But I plan to take that off. And it's been killing me because I can't take this off. Because I need to show it in this video for a couple weeks now. So I can't wait to remove this thing and then have a war ready primary for battles and just play around in my basement, honestly. So that was a cool find at $3. Next find was a inbox triad. It might not look bad from this perspective, but if I get closer, you can see it's been attacked by a dog. And part of it's come kind of apart. This is only two bucks, so I'm hoping I can probably just open this or try and redo the glue and then hang it up right there where the rest of my inbox stuff is. I went today and I found some cool things. First cool thing was a Supermax 750. This is a really cool find because decently rare, it's not super rare. This is only three dollars, but what's interesting is that there's a different tag under that that says orange. This one was obviously a blue tag, and what kills me is there's a sticker under the Goodwill sticker. So that's going to be fun to try and remove. It does work. And yes, it makes a nice fart sound. I don't have any of the specialty Laramie darts, so I can't really test fire it for you guys. Next thing was a rough cut. Seemingly in pretty good shape. It was only three dollars. And the thing about this rough cut is, it is unfortunately broken. Um, I didn't see that when I bought it, so um, it is primed, as you can tell by the orange indicators up here. Um, I think something with the trigger linkage is broken, or the catch is snapped. I'm going to record a video about me trying to fix this, which would be pretty interesting, and hopefully get some of your rough cuts repaired. Last cool thing is a pretty big one. I got a regulator. This is a very cool find, and it was only five bucks, which I call a, a pretty good win. It came with its original barrel and its original stock, and I believe the original Fulvar magazine. Hasbro, you should have put the mag release here, so I don't have to do this with my hand. Uh, it had batteries in it. Yeah, they're terrible. I actually do have some C-cells there, so let me put them in. So I got the battery door here unscrewed, and we're going to look at this together, see what batteries it has. What? Seven... Seven eleven C's? Oh, God. Here, let me get these out and put some actually good batteries in here. So I got the regulator with some fresh C batteries that I actually pulled from the swarm fire from the last Big Will. Big Will? Uh, big North Front video. 
It does rub. Thank you. Oh, we'll clean it off a little. Not great, but it works. Uh, single fire mode. It would work, but I don't have any darts. So, I'll test fire this off camera. It'll stop. Very nice shape. I actually really wanted a regulator stock for a while because it has a nice length to it and it holds a mag. And this, of course, is just a barrel extender. Nothing too special. Alright, so the next thing was actually a Craigslist deal that I did a bit while ago. Um, it's a lot of blasters. I don't know how many there are. I'll probably count them and put them in a comment in this video. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to get to the darts and then show off the blasters. So before I actually get into showing the darts, uh, excuse the mess, I've been working on something. Um, I want to say that the seller was absolutely great with uh, handling the transaction, actually showing up to the place on time, and giving me an actual, you know, place to show up. So we're going to show off some of the darts. We got a bag of elite darts, I'll pour them out here for you. I think they're all just main brand darts. I see an FVJ. That's going straight in the trash. It's some pretty looking, normal looking elites. So. Oh great, there's enough, another FVJ. That's just fabulous. Alright, so the next dart type we have is Mega. Obviously all these darts are going to indicate what I got in this lot. So some of them are the original Megas that probably came with blasters, which are pretty squished. And some of them are some refill packs. And there's some that are, you know, shredded. That's going straight in the trash. Um, I'll keep these darts, maybe. Uh, they look like they're good enough to fire for a couple, ten more shots. Next one we got here is a bag of old taggers and some streamlines. Yeah, they look pretty good. There's a suction cup dart here from probably a Maverick. There's also, what's cool, is a clear series red uh, streamline dart. In actually pretty good condition. It has some good stiffness to it. Uh, vintage darts like this are pretty good. Sorry if it's not in frame. There. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll probably just keep these for the dart tag uh, hyper fire, or not the dart tag hyper fire, the dart tag swarm fire that I just did a video on. Next cool dart type is some um, glow in the dark darts. I hope these are the original glow in the dark um, streamlines because I do have a green raven that's a sleeper. And I don't have any of those darts. I've been looking for them. So that's all of them. It has some black whistlers in there for whatever reason. Yes! It's the old streamlined ones. Unfortunately, I'm going to spoil something. There is no raven. I'm still mad about that, that there is no friggin' raven. But I have darts. I think there's like probably 18 here. Uh, so I can... Maybe put one up on pegboard to show that, hey, it shot this dart. I don't know. Something for the future. It's also a cool collector's item. Next cool thing is an actually a bag full of red streamlines. Someone must have owned a clear raider or something. These all look like they're in great condition. They have nice firmness to them. There's also a green tagger without the velcro. And two zombie strength elite darts. So that is great. <laughs> These are actually pretty rare darts because they came with the Clear Series Blasters and obviously uh, when those came out, people were buying Elite Blasters. So there wasn't really a good point to buy Streamlines anymore. Alright, next bag. Presumably Busby darts. Yep, all Busby darts. Uh, this one is the so famous and so rare headless dart. Trash. Oh, here's the head to that dart. <laughs> Trash. I have so many of these from a previous lot where I got a Tommy... A Tommy 20? Yeah, a Tommy 20. And I have no use for these because the only Busby Blaster I own is actually three that are in this lot, which I'm going to strip for parts anyway. Anyone's looking for Busby darts, um, don't contact me, please. This really cool thing is genuine vortex ammo. 
which is something that I've been looking for, because I only have like 30 discs, and then they all are rolling over the carpet. Ah, oh, my foot. <laughs> Got cramp. So yeah, these are genuine. They do say Nerf on them. They feel pretty good. They're, they haven't been in many jams. There is a Vortex Blaster in here, so we'll probably fire that off. I'm not going to fire everything off because some of it's broken, some of it isn't really worth it. Last cool thing was these three Rebel Arrows. Indicating by that, there is a Blaster in here that shoots Rebel Arrows. And these are all bent like every single pair of these arrows are, whether that be Zombie Strike or Rebel. Uh, they're pretty well used. Uh, they still have all the fins and clips. Not too bent. I still could use them. But why would I use Rebel arrows? That's just stupid. Now that you see the darts, let's get into the blasters. So, it's the smallest ones. One Tech 3, three Tech 3s. I don't need Tech 3s. I'm gladly going to strip these for parts. And probably throw the darts away. I got a jolt. It's actually the Instrike version. Which all of them technically are the Instrike version. But there's Elite Colors and there's the actual original that shot Whistler darts back in the day. Next cool thing was a Reflex 6. Um, I don't really have a use for this other than the top rail being cool for integrations because it's a good you know, space filler, I guess, that filler. The grip is not good for anybody of any hand size. It's actually fairly comfortable. Next thing was a Magnus. I actually do now own a... I have two Magnuses, two Magni, Magnuses. I have one with the handle cut off so that's meant to go under a long shot. But now I have two stock ones, and fire's pretty fine. You can find. Next thing is a elite strong arm that has the fancy paint on both sides. This works probably absolutely fine. I have no use for a strong arm, but it would be good to just add to the cell stuff. Because monthly to yearly, I do go through my collection. Not the stuff here, but the stuff in the tote bins right beside me here. You guys can see, yeah. A lot of this stuff is just going to end up there because I don't have use for three Tech 3s. Or this strong arm. So, this will just be going there. A really cool find was a dual strike. It actually works, and it's in very nice condition. The one I have, the, the trigger is yellowed, and it's all scratched and covered in dirt and probably diseases. I did plug the holes on that one, and it's not very different from the stock version. So I'm wondering if I did something wrong, or it's plugging the holes really does nothing. So, does anyone guess really on what really killed it? Um, I might modify this, I might just keep it around for the sake of it being really cool. The handle is very sad for a thing this big. kind of wish it had a bigger handle. Not to give to people with bigger hands, because my hand actually fits on this grip pretty well. Just to complement the size of this front barrel with a big handle. But Nerf does Nerf, which is sadly what they're going by right now. I got another rough cut. I now have three stock rough cuts. I also have that one that's painted that I still need to buy springs for. But this is in pretty great condition, I might add. So, still works. So, this would be nice to just loan out to somebody at a war, or just keep around for a master key at some point. Cool find. Next thing here is a Diatron. 
which would shoot these bits, it would go right there. Wait. This thing is loaded. Look at that. Fully loaded. That's great. Ah, oh, sweet. I got 10 more discs. That's really cool. I can't believe that. I didn't check any of these, by the way. This has just been sitting in a box for three days, and I've been dying to just look at these. So apparently this is full of discs. That's great. <laughs> I've never owned a diatron. I've never seen one in person. And if you don't know what it is, it goes through the there, and it shoots to this. But you can open this, and then just feed the discs through. We'll have to unload that actually properly and store them outside the blaster so the spring in the blaster doesn't wear out. Also, if you leave your blasters with darts in them, or if you leave your magazines with darts in them, uh, you're slowly going to kill the magazines and the darts and the blaster, so just don't do it. Store them separately. Great find. We got some garbage right here. I'm just kidding. These things are pretty cool for what they are. I used to have them a long time ago. This one seems like it's... That's a lot harder than I remember these things. I used to have one as a kid. Uh, no use to. I destroyed it because I was bored one day. But this is a really cool handle. The grip is comfortable. And the front end looks very nice. And the bow arms were pretty unattached. Very poorly. I don't know what I'll do with this. Probably sell it in the face marketplace again. It was a Guardian crossbow. I've actually been looking for one of these for a very long time. Ever since I saw Naptown Nerf pick them up for like $2. It's a very cool blaster. It's like a strong arm. The pump action. Wait. This thing has darts on it. So we got... Look. We have another... Uh, glow in the dark streamline. That's cool. Also has an X shot dart. I actually do have a couple of X shot darts, but no real use for them. And looks like it's just filled with a bunch of rebel ammo. That's really cool. I've actually never seen rebel ammo in person. So that's pretty neat. It actually shoots pretty hard. Now the bow arms on this are just for show. Just like how they are on the cross cut, which I showed earlier. Or the crossfire bow. I don't really know of that name for blaster very well. Because nobody likes that blaster. The grip is actually pretty good. This bar digs into my hand. The stock is actually fairly comfortable. But short. So sacrifices are being willing to made. Willing to be made. English. This actually has a nice sleek shell, and if you've seen Joel King's video about my Ford Victory, I do love myself a Rebel shell. Rebel shell. The uh, grip is actually pretty small here. I keep forgetting to dart these things. The trigger isn't very comfortable to me, but I will find something to do. I've seen people chop the stock and the uh, stock to grip bar off, I guess is what you want to call it. And make a pump action a strong arm basically. Great find. I will actually like to use this. Another thing I've been looking for for a very long time is a Roto Fury. Ever since I saw a Gun vs. Gun a very long time ago use one of these, I've been in the hunt for one. But I finally found one probably five years later. And I gotta say, these are actually pretty cool. The grip is very comfortable. The trigger pull is great. Uh, one bad thing is my hand gets caught and gets hit. This does have to play on fire, so you hold down the trigger, so I pull it blind. It rotates, fires a dart, and you can keep doing that to empty out your grum. I believe this holds 10 darts. I don't know. This is very cool, and I think you can put a K26 in here. I'd have to rewatch Captain Xavier's video on that. But we'll just have to wait and see. I can't wait to see what I do with this. 
Should be interesting. And up next we have a complete Spectre. I've actually been on the hunt for a Spectre stock because I actually wanted to put it on this thing. So now I actually can. Uh, the Spectre barrels are actually pretty good for integration work or just painting because they are very cool attachments. The blasters themselves are not good. It's a reverse blunder, but it's very small. So you can't really do too much to these things without breaking them or completely repurposing them. Like shoving Titan tanks into them. Top prime rotation, like a Maverick. It's useless. Except the Maverick actually has a use. I'd like to gladly present to you the heartthrob of YouTube and the nerfing community. I got another deep floor. It came with a six round mag, which is nice. I think that's the original six round mag, and that's in very nice condition. The black on that usually wears off because that's where the bolts overlap. This might have batteries in it, so let's see if it turns on. No. I'll have to take a look at the batteries. That is a very slow... Oh god, that is terrible. It's in pretty decent condition for how old it is. And seeing that my other deploy is on the floor with a Kronos and Nexus in it. More on that sometime. Uh, it's currently broken, so I have a deploy to screw around with again. Also, any deploy hate comments will get deleted. Please stop. It's not 2015 anymore. These floors are cool. Ugh. I hate that I have to say that. I've seen this in a very long time. A Nerf Recon. It's almost complete. It's also hitting my face. <laughs> a completely stock Recon. It's pretty cool. It has the flip clip adapter. We could put this on the bottom of the other mag and uh, do like this terrible Nerf Reload video. Has the original Recon stock, the Recon Light. See? Hey, it turns on! Doesn't lock in very well. Sweet, I'll have to check what batteries are in there. Also, a Recon Barrel, which is pretty disgusting. Sound pretty nice. The blaster is in pretty good condition too. Uh, I might keep this stock because I've been kind of wanting a stock recon. After that build, I kind of wanted to see what these two against each other are actually like. So great find. The attachments are always great. If I were to find the attachments separately, I'd grab them. So great find. Let's move on to the last three. So did you guess what fired the Rebel arrows that I showed off in the last ammo clip? Did you guess this massive thing? This is so stupid, I don't even know its name. It looks like a compound bow, which I actually did do archery a couple years ago. So I used to have a compound bow and it was actually a bit bigger than this. The wheels don't move obviously because it's elastic. And it has a trigger on it, not to fire the blaster, but to revolve like a cylinder. I think you put the arrows on it, and then this thing moves freely. So you move it and then fire it, move it and then fire it. Um, after doing archery class, this is so unnatural. I want to go like back here, but I'd have to increase the, the tension or like add more strength. So that's actually a pretty decent find. Um, I might just cut this off, remove this garbage, and make it paint it like a compound bow. That might be pretty cool. So, decent find. If anything, I can use it for the shell. So, I don't know. We'll see what I do with that. Next find is a pretty good one. 
the Thunderbolt. Actually pretty, I like this blaster. I've never actually seen a Thunderbolt in person. I think I saw one at a war I used to go to. At a club, I guess. And so it was usually on the war. And the fun thing is, you can fire it just by moving the arms, which makes a pretty interesting six round shotgun. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. These things are pretty cool and powerful. I might use the spring in it. Uh, this is actually a pretty neat looking shell if it was to cover a big area. It has some nice vents on the side here. The arms are kind of pointless. It's basically a springer. The, this one actually uses the string. This one's more for cosmetics, like the crosscut or crossfire bow and the guardian crossbow. So, I don't know. What I realized is I forgot to take a look at the batteries in this. And the batteries in this. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the next blaster and then look at the batteries in this and wrap up the video. Alright, so the next find is a demolisher. No rockets, which made me a little sad because I only own three rockets. Three original Hasbro rockets. But this is in very nice condition. I've been looking for a demolisher for a while because I want to do some integration stuff with it. Uh, it's not in the, it's not great because it's a stock blaster, but let's see if it has batteries. It has batteries, and it, the batteries seem very new. So with its original 10 dart banana mag. That's interesting. That's as slippery as it always is. I actually put this on a recon foregrip. I'll have to show that sometime. It's in a bin somewhere. I'd have to go dig it and find it. It has the original stock, which is not that bad, but still works. So let's take a look at the batteries in this, the decoy on the recon. Alright, got the blasters on the regular view of the camera. So let's start with this deploy and see what's in it. I am stepping on stuff. There's so much stuff on the floor. It is everywhere. Hopefully there's actually batteries in here. I'm just going insane. Well, that's not good. There's some dirt. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh no. First of all, that's black. That is disgusting. And there's some batteries in here. Let's dump them out. Move out of the way. Ugh. Get out. Ugh. They're exploded Duracells. Ew. Here, let me show them to you. I don't want to die of battery corrosion, so I'm going to look at them like this. That is not ideal. In the bin with you. There's also this one, which honestly doesn't look too bad, it's just the ass is blown out of it. It's also dead. And this one's our worst one. It's got corrosion on the bottom. It's also, it's like this shape where it goes down and it goes, whoop, whoop, as you can see. Uh, also the front of it is destroyed. Um, yeah, that's going in the trash. This is why you don't leave batteries in things that require batteries to operate. They explode and can, can and will corrode the battery leads and could leak onto the motherboard and kill your entire thing that has electronics. I don't know why I brought this whole recon up. I could have done that. Uh, this does work, so I have high hopes that this one isn't blown up. I always hated this battery door and this the recon light because it never served me well. What the fuck? Look at Thunderbolt Mac Magnum. What in the fuck kind of batteries are these? Heavy duty. Oh look, it's heavy duty. Ah! <laughs> Made in China. That's a surprise. Yeah, these batteries are disgusting. 
Yeah, they still work. I'll keep them, but uh, the contacts are clean, and the battery door is actually clean. I did open a recon light to strip it for its black reverse rail, and there was a centipede that died in it. So I am not afraid to kill a bitch. Some would say. So we're going to look at the demolisher here. Do you think it's going to have some Duracells? Is it going to have Thunderbolt Magnum? Or CVS batteries? Or not CVS, what were these? A 7-Eleven? Alright, let's open the... What secrets do you hide? Oh, Rayovix! I'm going to keep these in here. Because Rayovix do not corrode as much. All batteries explode eventually, but... Rayovix have a reputation of not doing that. So I'll keep this in here. Alright, let's wrap up this video. Alright, so the last thing we're going to take a look at is something that I bought off of eBay. Um, I'm really excited to finally get it into the mail. So let's open it up. I got the shipper label on it covered up. So we're going to open it this way. This is very awkward because I have to squeeze it in between my legs. We got the opening knife here, which is a, a normally long knife. Also, the dog is barking, so that's great. I want to say that this was about 40 bucks, and then like $20 shipping. This is about 60 bucks. So here's the thing that I have. And paper. That'll be nice to eat later. This is actually packed really well. They wrapped it in eBay paper, and that's really cool. Here's the thing that I've always wanted for a long time. And, uh, here's the Yep, you can always see it from the stock. Came with a modulus, has batteries. Came with a magazine fully loaded. That's gonna be. It's actually a 10 round magazine, which I needed for an integration I'm doing. Um, it needs a magazine that's 10 rounds. So that's cool. And it came with a transparent new style six round magazine. Also loaded with Adventure Force waffles. That's pretty cool. Add those to the collection of Adventure Force waffles. This is pretty cool. It's just nice to have a modulus again that's not chopped up into a firefly. There's also paper flying off this thing. Alright, I see the barrel. Here, let me unwrap it and then we'll uh I'll actually show you what it is. Alright, what did I grab for eBay for practically free? Whiteout Long Strike. I'm so happy to finally own one of these. I've never actually owned a Long Strike before, so this is very cool. It came with a Bandolier, which is the actually the Elite version. I have the old classic End Strike version in a box somewhere. That darn sped up for a very long time. It obviously came with the original mags and some Adventure Force waffles. I have a feeling they bought darts a while ago. It has a magazine in the stock here with more darts. And uh, I am very excited to finally have a long strike, especially a wide out long strike. This thing is in beautiful condition. And I hope to finally find a barrel and a site for this, even though those are most hard to find, because mostly these things either turn up with, without a stock and just a main blaster, or they typically just show up like this, so people are always looking for the barrels and the sights. It would be nice to hang up on the wall. It's a very nice collector's item. Alright, that was the end of this video.
How do you feel like this new perspective? I think I might just start doing this because talking to the camera is a whole lot better than just showing the blaster and then showing an empty workbench while I'm talking about something. So, like I said, I really hope you enjoy this video. Have any comments, suggestions, concerns, please put them in the comment section below. Um, the last video, I want to add this because I'm just so happy about it. The last big thrifting video, not episode 7, I think it was 6, has 2.2 thousand views. I hate that video because I got interrupted at the end. It's also very poorly recorded. 2.2 thousand people watched it, which is just insane to me. So thank you guys so much for watching that video too. <laughs> I don't know how, why, and mm, people who chose to stuck, stick around and watch some of my newer videos. Thank you, people who just come by, see the videos, see the thrifting videos. Uh, thank you as well for your viewership. Um, I think I'm going to make this every month now to just get big piles of stuff. It's a lot more interesting to do that instead of showing, oh, here's a thing. A thing. Alright, let's move on to things I acquired at a game store, because I just don't know. A, ver a video would just be very boring with two blasters, which I've proven just by showing a video with two blasters in it. Massive haul. I'm going to have to do some reorganizing and start considering selling some stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really do like it. Have a great rest of your day. Well, I just got done taking the picture for this. And I'm just starting to reorganize some stuff. Um, I got the darts in there. And I realized that I didn't look at the batteries on this thing. So we're going to take a look at them together. So I did undo the screw. So here's nothing. What? DJ Home Alkaline Battery. Um, I think that symbol of it exploding is a good idea of why I should keep these out of here.